Hypnosis may be the key to recovering so-called memories of abductions. But another brain phenomenon may be responsible for kick-starting the idea in abductees' minds to begin with. It's called sleep paralysis, and it's a true waking nightmare. I was held down by these living sort of ribbons that came across me and tightened up around me and, and bound me down. And then, of course, the aliens filed into the room and levitated me and, and took me out of the room. And uh, it was a very bizarre experience. And I thought, I'm being abducted. You know, why? Why am I being abducted? What are they doing? Um, turns out I was just having sleep paralysis. When we dream, our brain switches off our ability to move so that we don't injure ourselves acting out those dreams. When we wake up, it switches us back on again. But sometimes the switch is out of sync, and we wake up paralyzed. Brian Sharpless, a clinical psychologist at Penn State, specializes in sleep paralysis research. Sleep paralysis is the experience of either falling asleep or waking up and you find that you're paralyzed. Uh, but you have some degree of conscious awareness, and your eyes are still able to move, and you can look around the room. Um, it's often a terrifying experience for people that are suffering from it, not only from the paralysis, but because of the hallucinations that often accompany it. The hallucinations vary, but come in three general types. First, the intruder, an evil presence approaching. Second, the incubus, something pressing on your chest, choking or salting you. Finally, levitation, the sensation of being lifted off the bed and even transported elsewhere. Put them together, and you may have something strikingly familiar to a sleep researcher acquainted with UFO abduction stories. I think all three categories are consistent with what people who are being abducted by aliens experience, um, having a presence in the room, feeling if someone's on top of you, sexually assaulting you, or potentially levitating you. Sleep paralysis is thought to be responsible, down through the ages, for numerous terrifying nighttime visitations. Where one time or place might find uh, witches, demons, ghosts, and spirits as an explanation for sleep paralysis, it's possible that 21st century Americans might find technologically advanced aliens as an explanation.